Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of the Mild Ones Podcast. I'm joined with my co-host here, Caleb. Your co-host. Yeah. Your co-host. Yeah. This is my show. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Episode 4? Uh, yeah. Fourth episode. So today we're giving you some Brahala gameplay. Oh yeah, something different. Yeah, because uh, you know, we tried to play Fortnite first, but you know my uh, my thing was just my PlayStation was just not loving that. Yeah, she sounds like a claim. Factual. Like uh, yeah. you know, you were right next to the jet, man. Oh wait, I got to vote. Okay. All right, hey, we'll you gotta play here. Too, man. All right, all right. I've never um, played this game before. So anything um, happened within the last 24 hours of your breathing existence? Uh, Three, not two, too much, man. One, okay, so how does this work? But, um... Dude! Sorry, hold on. I'm trying to hey. talk about more than the game, but it's like... This is a lot. Uh, thoughts on, like, classical rock music? That's like, you know, like, you know, like, metal music. I don't listen to a lot of metal. I listen to a lot of ACDC. ACDC is cool. But it's like, I think they did the same thing for years, you know? But it just works. Yeah, I mean, as long as they do what works. You know? Yeah, to be honest. Yeah. And, you know, if... If they make a good sound and stay in their lane for it, go ahead. But it's like, I just feel like there's absolutely no progression in like the 40 years that they were around, you know? Yeah, they can go around and just don't make an album. They are? Yeah, they're still around. I made one quite recently. Jesus, dude, they are getting old then. They were still ripping it, man. Yeah. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Um, uh, what's your opinion on seafood? Seafood? Yeah. Seafood's a banger, bro. Dude, seafood. More specifically, sushi, bro. I love sushi. Oh, I can't stomach sushi. What? Yeah, one kind of sushi I've ever enjoyed was king crab sushi. Yeah, dude. King, like, king roll is amazing, man. Dude. What a dub. What a dub. But, uh... Yeah, I mean... I eat a lot. I like clams. Uh, oysters. You like raw oysters? No, I cannot eat raw oysters. I can't either, but, you know, my dad tries to brag about how well he likes them. Shout out to you, Dad, because I know you're watching this. You're going to tell me about it in about, like, a day or two. Yeah, you're gonna be like, I, I, I don't know you, Dad. So. That's that's fine, you know. But you know, through this podcast, he knows you. Yeah, dude. So, uh, Gage's dad. Fuck you, my no. Bro, bro, <laughs> come on. He's gonna yell at me. He's gonna be mad. Three, two, oh, one. Man. Wrong. I'm gonna All find right. out how to cut that out of this. No, dude. Bro, he is gonna be so mad. Oh, he won't. Oh, I hope not. I, I hope he understands the irony. It was just a joke. It was just. I hope so. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna like a after this. I'm gonna be like, uh, uh, don't watch the next episode. <laughs> Be like, do not watch the next episode. You're gonna be mad at me. Dude, it was fun. Yeah, that was that was hilarious. Yeah, that that was, that was pretty good actually. Not even gonna lie. I I, I should I should be a comedian. Yeah, honestly, I mean, if, if you get yourself out there, then fair enough. What what is your idea on stand up though? On stand up, I love it. I love stand up. I love stand up. Um. Who is your favorite stand-up comedian? Ari Spears. I've never heard of him. Dude, he is so slept on. 
Personally, Dave Chappelle is my guy. Yeah. I really like Dave Chappelle. I like what he's done. Um, yeah. Did you see where, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, somebody from the crowd tried to, like, um, attack him? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, and then, like, dude, they showed the pictures afterwards, and, like, yeah. the guy's arm was, like, so twisted. It was nuts. But actually, he's planning to do a tour right now with uh, the rapper Busta Rhymes. Alright. Don't say the rapper Busta Rhymes. Everybody knows who Busta Rhymes is. Factual. I don't know, man. I just didn't know if you were into Busta like that. Dude, you know. Are right, your opinion, he's better Busta or um, uh, Eminem? Like Busta or Eminem, dude? Oh, in terms of speed, Eminem. All day. But, like... Really? Yeah. I mean, because Busta Rhymes has some fast verses, don't get me wrong. But, like... Eminem prides himself on speed, you know? Because, like, that... In his, in his elderly age, man, Eminem has really focused more on lyricism than anything else. I think really? the... Um, I, think, I think his song... Godzilla. Oh yeah, Godzilla was a great song. I mean, I'm happy that Juice World was on it. My first yeah. kill, that's crazy. But, um, you know, I think that Juice World should have had a verse on that. Yeah. Because Juice World was such a great lyricist, man. Yeah, something else. Exactly. And it was sort of just disappointing to see him on a song with one of the greatest lyricists of all time. But, yeah. like, for him to not have a verse on it. Yeah. Yeah, but they could be much. Yeah. But, I, I hear uh, Juice World has, like, thousands of songs in the, uh, yeah, yeah. in the vault. Yeah. He got uh, some bangers. Personally, his first album was my favorite one. Yeah. Yeah. First one was my favorite album because, like, I think it has set the stage for a lot of new rappers to come up. I take influence in early Juice World for my music. Oh, really? Indeed. I've never been able to find your music. Once you get your phone, bro, you will definitely find my music. It's not really on YouTube like that. What's it on, like, big? SoundCloud. Sound SoundCloud rapper. Yes, sir. Listen, I appreciate, I appreciate SoundCloud, but it, it's community. Three, two, it, one, roll. What do you mean? It's a bunch of, a bunch of 15 year olds who listen to Young Boy. Uh, I definitely think that is true for certain subgenres, you know, I'm 16, but like, it doesn't really matter, I still sort of fall into that demographic, you know, because I definitely take more influence from, like, more melodic rappers and stuff like that, but, you know, Youngboy's not really my type of artist, he, he's cool, he's got some cool type songs, I mean, we've talked about him before on the podcast. Yeah, he goes hard on a feature, though, like, oh yeah, definitely, like, when his voice comes out of nowhere, mm-hmm. We got some kids in our school, man, who, like, do the whole, uh, what's it called, young boy thing. I know. I'm not naming names, because, bro, I'm going to get shot, and I ain't going to lie, but, you know. That's how our school really is. Some kid got, what was it, some kid got tased, not tased, he got stabbed. He got another kid's mate. Which sucks, man. It's just disappointing. I mean, our school is awful. I mean, if you, the upstairs bathroom... Has, yeah. uh, it has no like mirrors like that. It has no mirrors like that. Um, I've brought it up to uh, people at our school, and like they have just said nothing. Yeah. The whole uh, hit a lick, bro. That. Oh my God, yo! The uh, what's it I called? Love that. that was great, man. Like you hear it coming from the bathroom, and you already know what's happening. It's your boy Lil B. Right. It's fact. It's pretty dope.
But, uh, yeah. What's it called? Like, like, dude, like, I, I brought up the fact that our bathroom has no mirrors, it has no soap dispenser, but it's just, like, nobody does anything about it. Oh, because they can't, really. I mean, they have those, like, uh, what's it called? The hand sanitizer things around the school. You just, like, put one in the bathrooms. Yeah. Because right. literally, the one upstairs and the one downstairs have no soap dispenser. Uh, it's just like, how do they expect us to keep ourselves clean? Like, yep. I'm surprised we don't have like an outbreak or something. I know. It, it probably is a secret. Bro, yeah, I swear, man, if we got like pink eye going around, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Magyar! Oh, oh, it's past 8 30. You know what that means. What does that mean? Oh. Time to open my window and vent my room. Giggity. Giggity goo, man. Giggity Dude. goo, man. I love it. Dude, that. that was... Giggity goo, man. Giggity goo. What is your level in this game, man? So, um, hold on. So you're very. You're. You're. You're very interested in music, right? Like, you actually like music. Love music. Music's like a part of you. Yes. Now, being someone who's a big fan of music, where would you put some of these meme rappers? Meme rappers. Meme rappers. Bro, I don't know if you ever heard of him, but Joey Trap. Joey, Joey Trap, Trap, bro. I love Joey Trap. Oh, oh my God, dude, he had this I don't one know if song. Any of y'all out there heard this? Uh, Squidward's nose or Sandy Cheeks by him, bro. He's the meme god. He puts it in his songs. He is the meme god. Facts, dude. He's actually pretty good. He had uh, one song that I love, man. I forget what it was, but he had, like, the, uh, what's it called? He had, a uh, Flapjack on the cover, man. It was so geek. Mm. I know what you're talking about. But I forget yeah. what it's called. I forget what it's called. And you know, we haven't really, I mean, I haven't really heard too much from uh, you know, Joey Trap. Yeah, lately, no. His last song I ever put out was Nemo. That was doing 2019. Joey Trap, right? Yeah. I'm not Are we sure looking I at the I've... same thing, dude? Joey Trap, yeah. The... Oh, okay, yeah. But dude, like, I'm looking up on Apple Music right now. This man has steadily been dropping albums since 2017, man. He has, like... Right. I never knew he was still active. Yeah. 2017, 2018, 2019. He dropped four albums. Damn. In 2019. Yeah, year by year. One, two, three, four, five. Right. Five albums in 2020. I have a big question. Do you think Chop do you think Chop is gonna make another uh shot of flow? Probably to milk it as much as he possibly can. But they dude, just like people get more and more fire, bro. Like I'm an Ali Choppa fan, bro. I love him. But every album he drops, like every Chata float he drops, one after another is a banger and a banger. I mean, it's all right for real, but have you heard his new album, Me vs. Me? Yes, yes, I love it. I love every. It came song out on my birthday. Oh really? When's your birthday? January twenty eighth, boy. Damn. So if you like, two um, angels were blessed that day. If you like, uh, what's it called? An El Chapo, Then what do you think about his uh, experimental, Three, two, one, like, um, softer album when he was talking more about like, uh, what's it called? When he was like talking more about like positivity. I did not like that. That did not sound like Chopper. I guess he was on his demon time with that, bro. He's on something else. I know, dude. That did not. Um, yeah. But, like, going back to, like, meme rappers, man. I love yeah. MC Virgins. You literally put dude. me on to MC Virgins. Dude, they're fire, aren't they? Everything they drop is a banger. Bangers after bangers. Like, like, 
It's so good. I reached out to them for a feature, but like I haven't gotten anything back. I probably won't. Did you actually? Yes, dude. I sent them an email and everything. Oh my god. If you get in with MC Virgin, you, if you become something, dude, don't forget about me. I would never, bro. We would keep this podcast going, bro. We'd get them as a guest on the podcast. That would be so amazing, bro. That would be like a dream come true. What if I become an MC Virgin? Bro, that would be crazy. Are you a virgin? I don't qualify, but you know. Look at you, like the podcast. Be honest. I, I, I am. I swear to God. Proof. Proof. Bro, I will show you on tomorrow, bro. We got okay. art class. Okay. okay, okay, never mind. What do you mean tomorrow? We don't have art class. Yeah, we do, man. No, we don't. Yes. No, we don't. How? Because cause on Monday... Alright, alright. Let's, let's, let's talk about this after the podcast. Fair enough. Alright, um... We'll throw a bunch of weird food combinations. What would you think would taste better? Alright? Okay. Let's do that first. Pizza dipped in ketchup versus mayo. Mayonnaise. I think mayonnaise would definitely be better than ketchup. I don't think ketchup would add anything to the experience because there's already marinara sauce. Yeah. I guess. Alright. Um. How about peanut butter and pickle, bro? Uh, no, no. I mean, I've been I've been seeing people on Instagram put like um, pickles on peanut butter sandwiches. Alright, alright. This is from this is from SpongeBob. A jellyfish. Burger. Like the hey all you people! Hey all you people! Hey, all why you don't people. you listen to me? <laughs> I I've tried that before and it's not half bad. It's actually great. Really I might have to try that. I go lie, no. Sponge was onto something. Sponge was onto something, bro. What do you think about the pretty patties, though? The pretty patties. Do you remember, bro, when he like painted yes, them a different I color? I remember. I remember, and. I remember Pretty Patties. I just thought they were gay burgers. Bro, I looked at them and I was like, bro, they gotta be so fire, bro. They gotta be busting, man. They, they gotta, gotta be bust, bust, honestly. They gotta be, they, bro. They gotta be. I'm trying to think, man, because there was like other TV shows as a kid, man, they made stuff look so delicious. Dude, do you remember Johnny Three, Bravo? Two, one, Johnny Bravo, one. yes I do. Yes I do, man. I would love him. Hey, mama. Dude. Hey, who's the sick man in the mirror? Oh, it's just me. It's just me. That man was the original legend, bro. He was such a legend. He got all the biddies, bro. Yeah, man. Actually, did you know um the guy who created, uh, what's it called? Uh, Family Guy actually worked on John Bravo before. Really? Old Nickelodeon, man, beats everything that they have nowadays. The, Johnny Bravo wasn't on Nickelodeon. Oh, really? Wasn't he a Cartoon Network? Yeah, Cartoon Network. Yeah, Cartoon I was a Nickelodeon kid. Me too. Honestly, like, bro, I love Spongebob. Spongebob was cool for me. Uh, you know, Rugrats was cool too. But, yo, yeah, I, like I love, like... I love like uh, iCarly and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh my god. I remember, I knew it was bedtime when King of the Hill came out on Cartoon Network. Bro, I love King of the Hill, man. Dude, I remember like every, every time, I used to be scared of Robot Chicken. And me too, bro. Yo, I used to wake up in the middle of the night, my TV was still on, and then Robot Chicken was on. And then, yeah, yeah, you used to see like the bad scientists, bro. Great, man. I hated Robot Chicken. I but now, like from now I enjoy it. Yeah, it, it was definitely a good show looking back at it, man. Yeah, stop the style of it. Like, cause no, like, no other shows are really doing that stop motion animation like they were.
Get murked! Listen, man. So, um... Oh yeah, earlier I watched uh, Shaq on Hot Ones. Uh, Shaq on Hot Ones? Thing. Shaq on Hot Ones. That one of the best Hot Ones episodes ever. I think so, man. Or the Rhett and Link when they were on there? That was a good one. I, I, like, dude, I always do that in my recommended, but I, like, yeah, to watch it. Dude, really? It's like four years old. Hey, man, it's just, it's just what I've seen, you know? Uh, what's it called? I think Steve-O from the Jackass to eat movies, like, had a good episode, too. Yeah. Definitely. And it's crazy, like, bro, we're talking about hot ones on mild ones. Right, we're just a little less spicy. We're just yeah. a little bit less spicy, not even going on here. Bro, speaking of which, there was a thing on Spongebob, bro, where it was like, um, what's it called? Wow, I totally got murked. But, um, what's it called? There was a sauce packet that SpongeBob's face was on, and it was called the Mild Sponge. Oh my god. And it had his face so seductive. Matter of fact, I'm going to make that the thumbnail for this episode. Uh, yeah. Alright. So, how long have we been in this? How long have we done this for? Uh, about 22 minutes. Uh, I might have to cut it short here. I got fair enough, man. Let's in short episode, guys. Sorry. Yeah, sorry for that, but don't worry. I mean, next episode is uh, what's it called? Are it's we gonna doing be a long that? one. Yeah. We'll make up for this. Definitely. So, all right, guys. All right. So Thanks this has been. Make sure to like and subscribe. Definitely. Let me let me close that episode. This time. All right. Fair enough. This has been my ones. Help us blow up. Hit us up on, um, shout out our Instagram. You want to throw our Instagrams in the bottom? Uh, yeah. Uh, at gmixbaby with two Ys, all lowercase. At reckless K, uh, reckless spelt with two Ks. Just like his gamer tag right there, boy. Yeah, that is exact. That's actually. So, uh, alright. Close that episode one. Cool.